Hello and welcome to Royals History and Stories. In this video, we will discover what Cleopatra, the last queen of Egypt, actually looked like. Cleopatra, the last queen of Egypt, one of the most famous women from antiquity, is renowned for her intelligence and political acumen, as well as her reputed beauty, which reportedly captured the hearts of both Julius Caesar and Mark Antony. As the co-ruler of Egypt with her father and siblings, she was a formidable leader who spoke multiple languages and had a reputation for being clever. However, despite her fame, there remains a great deal of debate among scholars about her physical appearance. Was she really the sultry seductress with the coal-lined eyes and flowing black hair that we often see depicted in popular culture? Or is there more to her appearance than meets the eye? With no surviving contemporary accounts of her looks, it can be difficult to discern the truth from later embellishments and distortions. While we may never know for sure what Cleopatra really looked like, Exploring the available evidence and cultural standards of beauty from her time can help us gain a better understanding of her life and legacy. Let's get started. Historians don't believe she looked like our modern perception. According to many historians, the popular image of Cleopatra as a sultry seductress may be an inaccurate portrayal. They argue that Cleopatra's true magnetism stemmed from her shrewd intellect and impressive political aptitude, rather than her physical appearance. Furthermore, because beauty standards are highly subjective and vary across different cultures and eras, it is futile to judge Cleopatra's beauty based on contemporary Western ideals. Instead, ancient sources suggest that her most alluring trait was her enchanting voice, which was said to be music to the ears of those who heard her speak. The Romans used her looks and sexuality to hurt her reputation. The accounts of her physical appearance and character are colored by the biases of the Roman scholars who wrote about her. Emperor Octavian, later known as Augustus, was a rival of Cleopatra and sought to destroy her reputation in order to diminish her intellectual abilities and cast her in a negative light, he used her relationship with his rival Mark Antony as a tool. He referred to her as a foreign beauty and portrayed her as a seductress who had manipulated Mark Antony and by extension, Rome. This propaganda campaign against Cleopatra was used by Octavian to garner support for his civil war against Mark Antony in his Roman history, Roman historian Dio Cassius described Cleopatra as beautiful, possessing a charming voice and the ability to make herself agreeable to everyone. He portrayed her as an evil, power-hungry queen bent on manipulating a Roman hero. Historical portraits of Cleopatra are not accurate depictions. Many scholars argue that the depictions of Cleopatra in paintings and other artwork are not reliable sources for determining her true physical appearance. These artworks, which portray Cleopatra meeting Julius Caesar and Mark Antony, as well as her death by snake bite, were created long after her lifetime and reflect the artistic styles of the eras in which they were made. Furthermore, these depictions often show Cleopatra with a European appearance that may not accurately represent how she looked as an Egyptian ruler. Julius Caesar was reportedly captivated by her beauty. After the death of her father, Cleopatra inherited the throne of Egypt, but her younger brothers also claimed the crown, sparking a civil war. In order to secure her position, she formed an alliance with the powerful Roman general Julius Caesar. Caesar was captivated by Cleopatra's beauty and helped her to regain power in Egypt. However, the alliance was not without its challenges. Cleopatra was eventually forced to flee Egypt, 
but she returned with Julius Caesar's help, and together they defeated her brother's army. As a result of their victory, Cleopatra was reinstated as queen, along with her younger brother, and she gave birth to a son named Ptolemy Caesar. The Egyptian people affectionately called him Caesarian, meaning Little Caesar. Despite the temporal peace that came with her reinstatement, Cleopatra's reign continued to be a tumultuous one. Julius Caesar was eventually assassinated, and Cleopatra's younger brother also died under suspicious circumstances. With her young son as her co-ruler, Cleopatra continued to face challenges to her power. Egyptians' relief depict her as a god. In ancient Egyptian art, Cleopatra was sometimes depicted as a deity. An example of this can be found on a structure located on the west bank of the Nile River, where a carving portrays her wearing a sun disc on her head. This particular artwork is notable for being one of the rare pieces that bears her name, indicating that it was created to help legitimize her position as the rightful ruler. She was Macedonian, not Egyptian, and may have had light skin. After studying various historical records, historians have come to different conclusions regarding Cleopatra's skin color. Some scholars believe that her light skin is an accurate representation since her family was of Macedonian descent. As her father's family came from Macedonia, it is possible that Cleopatra did not have any Egyptian ancestry. However, there are also scholars who argue that Macedonia was home to various cultural groups, and Cleopatra may have had a darker skin tone. Unfortunately, the origins of her mother are unknown, so it is challenging to determine Cleopatra's true ethnicity. Mark Antony was also captivated by her beauty. Cleopatra was known to align herself with the goddess Isis, who was a revered figure in Egypt for her associations with healing and magic. This practice of aligning with the divine figure was common in Egypt, and it was believed to strengthen the ruler's claim to power. It is believed that Cleopatra's association with Isis may have been one of the reasons that Mark Antony was drawn to her. Antony saw himself as similar to the Roman god Dionysus, and was known for his love of pleasure and excess. After Cleopatra had visited him in Rome, Antony traveled to Egypt and stayed there with her, bringing his retinue of soldiers, advisors, and family members. While in Egypt, Cleopatra gave birth to twins, Alexander Helios and Cleopatra Selene, which may have strengthened her hold on the throne. Antony and Cleopatra's relationship continued to deepen, and they would go on to have a third child together, a son named Ptolemy Philadelphus. The marble bust from the first century is probably not accurate. Archaeological discoveries have been made of statues purporting to be representations of Cleopatra, the last queen of Egypt. One of these statues, known as the Berlin Cleopatra, is a marble bust housed in the Old Museum in Germany, However, its accuracy has been contested, with some scholars even alleging that it is a fake. Another bust was found on the Appian Way in 1784, and Cleopatra's likeness also appeared on coins minted during her reign. If there's anything that we missed, or if you know any other interesting tales, do share in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Thank you for joining us today. See you in the following videos. Goodbye.